senior defensive back, Christian Campbell. Christian, you look at the NCAA stats and you see number five in, in pass defense. I guess this week Hanson's going to give you guys a big challenge. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. the, the, oh, the quarterback. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, I mean, every week we look forward to it. It's just another challenge. Uh, um, us being ranked the five, like fifth secondary in the country, is just is a testament to our guys up front, our linebackers. We don't cover very long, so they help us. They make our job really easy, so I'm looking forward to it. Have you enjoyed the way that coaches rolled everybody? You play just about as much as Wanye or Tariq or whoever, you know, like everybody seems to get kind of an equal share of the pie. Yeah, and I mean that, as I was saying, in the off season, we work depth and we didn't really do first ones and twos. We kind of just, we did for that above the line thing and it's a real thing as you can see. Because all, all of us play, we rotate equivalent reps. So it helps us, like it helps me, it helps one year, it helps Tariq keep fresh legs and there's not really a fall off at skill level whenever we're in the game. Has there been a play where you've been like, you know, I maybe gave a little more effort here than I would have been able to later in a game or something like that just because you have more energy from coming in and out? Oh no, I mean every play, I give it my all. Um, we all do just because you know, say I got I to gotta run 50 yards. I'm not going to just run off the field and have somebody come in for me, so we don't really worry about that. What kind of challenges in particular does Carolina present in their passing game? Uh, I mean, I've been looking at them, and I'm not really going to get into specific in players, but their offense, their operation works really well. Their quarterback, he, he does a good job back there, even as a young guy. So they do everything really well, honestly. I imagine with a young quarterback, without getting too much in your game plan, Trying to disi disguise looks and have execute things on a sharp level without tipping your hand is something that you guys want to pay a lot of attention to with a young quarterback. Um, I don't think it's more directed kind of based on him. Every week we kind of try to give the whoever quarterback it is, whether it's the fifth year or our first year, we try to make it hard for them to know what what we're doing. Do you notice the senior <coughs> class is is really small? Yeah, so I think it's like seven guys from when my class came in. Right. So, yeah, that's, that's seven. <laughs> <laughs> like, is there something that you guys have, I mean, like talked about or converse or, or, or kind of thought about the years, how it impacts the team or anything like that? No, well, I mean, we kind of brought it up a few weeks ago. We just kind of acknowledged, like, hey, it's only us guys. Like, yeah. It was 25 of us when we came in in 2015, uh -huh. and now it's seven. So. Yeah. We just kind of, I mean, it happened a long time ago. Most of them left after our freshman year. Right. So it's something that's happened a while ago. In terms of going forward as a senior, you guys still sort of control your own destiny in terms of the league. Is that something you think about, even as bad as the season's kind of started, wins and losses-wise? Oh, that you guys can still play, have a lot of things you can play for? Well, I mean, we don't put a lot of thought into the NFL right now. I mean, if I put thought into the NFL, I won't be focused on the season. So. I put all. I direct all of my focus towards the season because that'll help the team. That'll help me because if I do well during the season, then we'll see where that goes moving forward. Well, I meant more like in terms of you could still win the Coastal. Right. Oh yeah, for sure it's wide open. I think Duke and VT did play, so yeah. somebody's ahead right now. But other than that, it's wide open. So we're looking forward to that. Everything else is in the past. You just keep moving forward. You got some young guys fighting to get reps out there. What are you seeing from some of them? Um. On defense, offense, I mean, the young guys really are doing pretty well, both sides of the ball. Slots, running backs, corners, safeties, they're all doing a really good job. Do you see a difference in the way that the developmental teams are on and the, the quality of the reps you're getting from, say, a scout offense versus maybe what you did in the past when guys are running off cards and that kind of thing? Oh, yeah, because, I mean, so the developmental guys, I guess it used to be or at one time, It'd be just maybe the walk-ons, which I mean, some of the walk-ons, they're walk-ons that are playing, nah, nothing against them, but they're scholarship guys, and there's guys that rotate from the ATL and the developmental group. So the look is, it's like a game look every time you take a snap. Curious about the seniors being small, do you notice that it's kind of a young team? Does it feel that way in some way, like, because there's so many freshmen and retro freshmen? Uh, I mean, I don't really get too much into it. Eh, it's your fifth year. You kind of you go into work, you do what you got to do. <laughs> I don't really think about that too much. All right. Thanks, Christian. No Thanks problem. Appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate you.